Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that I have filmed before on my channel and I thought it would be fun to do it again because I have been decluttering quite a few things in my collection and I just thought it would be fun to go over some of the stuff I've gotten rid of. So if you guys are interested in seeing products that I decluttered on my Poshmark, just keep watching. Also, really quick, I did film this look. It should already be up on my channel. It is a collab with my friends Angie and Amy. We did a Valentine's Day collab where we basically use products from women-owned makeup brands. So if you guys are curious to see what I use to achieve all of this, go ahead and check out that video. I'll try and remember to link it. Otherwise, it's the video that went up on February 14th. So just wanted to offer you a friendly reminder to go check out that video because I had a lot of fun putting this look together. I think it is so me, as most of you guys might know. So the first thing I am decluttering on Poshmark, this one, a Rydic Moondust palette. So this, <laughs> this one is kind of a funny one because I thought I would keep this palette forever because it was gifted to me and it's actually custom painted so I guess the person that got it for me walked into an Ulta store and they were having an Urban Decay event and you could get your palette custom painted so it's really beautiful it's honestly never been used I accidentally dug my nail into one of the shades so it looks like the shadow has been used but it hasn't none of this has been used and it's a beautiful palette I initially bought it for myself and then somebody gifted it to me so I decluttered the original thinking I was going to keep this forever but I never reach for it and it's beautiful and it's glittery and it's so easy to use. I think if you had a nice glitter glue you can achieve some beautiful looks with it and it's one of Urban Decay's more innovative formulas in my opinion so I like it but I just never reach for it so I'm happy to be passing that on. And then I have the Milk Makeup Glow Oil Plus Lip Cheeks on there. I did not like that product. I featured it in like my worst products of 2019. I got so excited for some reason when they first launched. And I was like, oh, those are going to be so beautiful. They're going to be so easy. I didn't like the formula. They're very oily. They kind of like spread all over your face the longer you have them on. My friend Allie confirmed this. She also purchased... I think a few shades and she said the same thing happened to her so I'm glad to know I'm not crazy and um, thank you Allie for confirming that. The other thing on here are my two Olimar Cosmetics palettes. I keep meaning to try the first one one more time um, because my friend Amy loves Olimar's palettes so so much but I don't know. I just want somebody else to take them and do something fabulous with them because I don't know, I just didn't love them as much. So I have the Tarte Adeline Moraine palette on my Poshmark, or I sold it on Poshmark. I don't know what possessed me to buy this palette. I think it was maybe Teresa is Dead, because she, I think she said she liked it, or the yellow like drew her in or something. For some reason, she gave it a good review, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll give Tarte a chance. You know, it's like, when you're like on Tinder and you're going left and right, I've never been on Tinder actually. Did I get married before Tinder peaked? I think I did. So, but with my friends, you know, cause like I help them out sometimes and it's like, oh, you know, you're like, uh, I'm kind of, you know, feeling twirly and maybe I'll give them a chance kind of thing. And that's what happened with this palette. So I did use it in a get ready with me, but I never touched it again. So it's okay. It's, eh, it's tart. Their shadows are like what I would say lightly pigmented, um, so I'm happy to get that out of here. And then I have the Pinky Rose, the Transition Palette. I actually originally wanted it, they have a green one with like greens and yellows, but that one never went on sale, so I bought the pink one, and I've never used it. It's brand new, and I think Pinky Rose is now re-releasing those palettes in a different format so it's really funny that I like bought it and I never used it and now it's on my Poshmark. So I'm getting rid of all of my ABH glow kits that I used to own. I had the, I don't even remember, the Nicole Guerrero, I had the Sun Dip, the Sugar, um, just a bunch of them. 
I just have so many highlighters and I did a pretty big declutter of my highlighter collection which I will try and remember to throw up in the cards for you guys. And so I just decided, you know, it was time to part with the highlighters and so I did and very happy that I'm moving them along because I never reached for them. I haven't reached for them in years. I don't know why I decided to just like purchase them all, but that's the thing when you're not only a YouTuber, but you watch YouTube, watching other YouTubers talk about products, hype up products, definitely makes me want to buy products. So it's, it's like a sick cycle, you know, we all enable each other and it is what it is, but I'm trying to be better this year so anyway i'm also decluttering the bh cosmetics um love signs palette again beautiful palette i just never reach for it i don't feel the need to keep it the shades are so stunning but it's like i never reach for it i don't even reach for the original i think that one needs to go next but it survived one more day it's on my shelf i can see it it's right there i'm gonna declutter my eyeshadow palette collection even more this year but it's live to see another day. And then I have the Juvia's Place Magic Palette, another beautiful palette, stunning shades, so colorful, beautiful. I just, I bought that palette when it first came out and I feel like I loved it then, but it's not one I keep going back to. So for that reason, I did end up parting ways with it. So the MAC Holiday Star Dipped Palette in the shade Light, I totally bought this because of Mel Thompson. She said that she really liked it and it just looks so beautiful and interesting and I'm a sucker for baked gelée formulas so of course I picked it up and I don't know I tried it like once or twice and I didn't really love it so Poshmark it it is you know um, just not quite there for me when it comes to my overall blush collection I feel like there's shades that I love more so I did have to say goodbye to that one. So another palette that I bought and then I tried and I hated, so I put it on my Poshmark, is the KKW Mario Round 2 collab. It's just so muted. <laughs> I was still expecting like a little bit of pizzazz because Makeup by Mario, Kim Kardashian, they're both so glamorous. But no, it was kind of like a meh. So I did declutter that. And then the Blood Sugar palette by Jeffree Star was like my favorite Jeffree Star palette and I hadn't used it in a long time. So when he was launching the Conspiracy and the Controversy palettes with Shane, I decided to do like Jeffree Star week on my Instagram, which like crashed and burned because I got so busy, but I was able to go back to Blood Sugar and I think I use Alien as well. And I realized my Blood Sugar formula just didn't feel as good as creamy as I remember so I ended up getting rid of it so yeah it's gone from my collection and then I also decluttered my glam light paint palette this one was a little hard because it was so new I had maybe used it once or twice and I wanted to hold on to it but sometimes it's like a matter of if somebody else can take it from me and love it and use it more often than me and I just bought it for like a video or two it's okay for me to let things go. I can like rationalize that in my brain. I know it's not as easy for some people because they spent their money on it. It's hard earned money and it's their baby. But for me, it's like, oh, I've tried it. I know what it's like. I have some other palettes from Glamlight, so I'm okay in that area. And if I can recoup a little bit of what I spent on it and also pass it on to somebody that's gonna love it, then that's a win in my book. So. I didn't think there was anything wrong with that palette. I really enjoyed it. Glamlight has an amazing formula. So easy for me to work with. I think they're pressed pigments, but they just blend really well. So I have nothing but good things to say about Glamlight. I have the burger palette. I have the taco palette. Love both of those. I would have held on to the paint palette if the packaging was less obnoxious, but it's so bulky and ridiculous to store that I'm happy it went to somebody and they're cherishing it. The next palette I got rid of is the Tarte Icy Betch palette. I think I talked about that in a video. I can't quite remember, but basically I wanted to use it for a video, but I never ended up doing that, and it just sat around in my collection. 
I feel like that palette has come and gone. I don't think you can purchase it anymore. So there was really no reason for me to keep holding on to it. So I did get rid of it. That one had a decent formula, I must say. I do wish they had stuck with the original layout that they had teased so it looked more like their In Bloom palette format. I think that's like a much classier format. Um, but they did these like weird pan sizes and I don't know, I just have so many green and blue palettes in my collection so I was happy to part ways with that. And then lastly, a thing I did decide to let go of is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm face palette in the shade Lovegasm. So I was just so attracted to the Charlotte Tilbury palette and I spent way too much money on it. And when I got it, it really didn't impress me enough to keep it around. I basically could have bought an hourglass palette if I spent five extra dollars. So that was a little ridiculous. I definitely let it go for way less than what I had paid for it. But again, it was one of those things I could have let it sit in my collection and been bitter and it would have just gotten old and old and old um, and now it's on to a new home and hopefully somebody's enjoying that palette and a lot of you have also you know commented and dm me saying i've actually saved you money um, because i tried that palette and told you guys my honest opinion that i didn't think it was worth the splurge so that makes me happy as well so overall i am so happy to declutter these things. It's one of those things like Marie Kondo says, you just thank them and then you just let them go. And so very, very happy about that. I hope you enjoyed this little video of things I have decluttered on Poshmark. I just like to do it because I think it's kind of fun to go back and talk about some of the things that I used to own and tell you guys what ended up happening to them. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments and I will catch you in my next video soon. Bye guys!